Hello, I'm Tim Barclay, a hydrologist at the National Weather Service in Reno, Washington. I'm in the Hidden Valley neighborhood with my good friend Yaku on a street that's prone to flooding. Are you new to Nevada or Eastern California? Or maybe you or a family member are moving to a new neighborhood? Don't let the dry climate fool you. This area is prone to major flooding. And it's only a matter of time before we flood again. So how can you find out if your home's at risk and what you can do about it? We will explain that and provide you with additional resources in this video. You may have heard of the 100-year flood, more accurately referred to as the 1% flood, but what does that actually mean? It means that a flood has a 1% chance of occurring in any given year. Floods do not occur on a schedule, and a 1% flood can occur multiple times in a decade or even in the same year. Your chance of experiencing a 1% flood over a typical 30-year home mortgage is greater than 1 in 4. In our area, the January 1997 flood is considered to be near the 1% flood. Lesser floods happen more frequently and can still cause significant damage. So, how do you find out if your home is at risk of flooding? The National Flood Hazard Layer can tell you if your home is in or out of a designated special flood hazard area, which represents the 1% flood area. If your home is in a special flood hazard area, mandatory purchase of flood insurance applies. Let's take a look by visiting the nevadafloods.org website. Go to the Know Your Risk tab and then select Will You Flood? This will bring you to the FEMA Map Service Center and display the special flood hazard areas. Type in your address, give it some time to load, and read the map. Your home may have one or more layers over it indicating what type of FEMA flood hazard zone it is in. FEMA Zone X means you are not in a special flood hazard area, and FEMA Zone D means the area has not yet been studied. If the layer is labeled as any other FEMA zone, it means that you are in the special flood hazard area and you are required to have flood insurance if you have a federally backed mortgage, like Fannie Mae, for example. Remember, where it can rain, it can flood. You could still be at risk for flooding, even if you are not in a special flood hazard area. Payout records prove that one in five insurance claims paid by FEMA are for homes that are not in identified flood zones. Home buying websites may feature additional online tools to help you estimate flood risk for a specific area or property. If your area is not mapped, contact your city or county engineering public works or emergency management officials for local flood risk information. While flood maps are updated regularly, keep in mind that your flood risk may change over time. Changes may be a result of development in the floodplain, flood mitigation projects, and a changing climate. Even when it doesn't rain, it can flood. On a cold January 2008 morning, a canal failed five miles from Fernley, Nevada. Fortunately, the canal break was repaired rapidly, but not before hundreds of Fernley homes were inundated. Not one of the homes was in the special flood hazard area. So what can you do? Encourage your community to keep the floodplain undeveloped. Agriculture, parks, and trails are a great use of the floodplain. Be prepared. Buy flood insurance, have a family emergency plan, keep gutters and storm drains clear around your home, and know where to get weather and river forecast information. Thanks for watching the video. We hope it helped you better understand your flood risk. Knowing your flood risk increases your safety and resilience, so families, neighbors, and communities can recover from disaster faster and more completely. Please see the links at the end of the video for more information. Together, we can build a more flood-safe Nevada and Eastern California.